This is Cougar from Ford, a fast, elegant and thoroughly modern sports car en route to Bewell to meet a distant ancestor. Introducing Capri, the car you always promised yourself. Once again, Ford leads the way with a car that is totally new, exciting, different from anything else on the road. Capri is a great looking fastback. Capri is the unexpected. It seats four, even five passengers with room for all your luggage. You can make Capri as sporty or as luxurious as you choose from a long list of options. You can have reclining front seats. And with the GT, you get full instrumentation. Inside or outside, Capri gives you what you want. A choice of five engine sizes, manual or automatic drive. See the new Ford Capri now at your Ford dealers. Well, I think the car I always promised myself had a few more creature comforts in it than this one. Still got the original blanking plate from the radio that was never fitted. There's a blanking plate over where the cigarette lighter would go. But then, the upside of that is, it's never been smoked in. It's never been on the motorway either. 67,000 miles, it's done with one over. Most of those miles have been done at under 40 miles an hour. This is one very well looked after car. The Capri was an instant success. With its sporty looks borrowed from the Mustang and its reliable mechanicals borrowed from the Mark II Cortina. The cars looked wonderful, the styling was perfect, but the practicalities were a bit short. For instance, although it looks like a hatch, the Mark I wasn't and it had a rather small boot, but this didn't stop many families choosing this as their family car. That was remedied with the Mark II though, which became a hatchback, became much more sophisticated, but still had racy Capri lines, instantly recognisable. For my mind though, the Mark III Capri is the best of the lot, and this is a late 1985 example with a 2.8 litre V6 engine. It looks like it's doing 100 miles an hour, even when it's standing still. But by the mid-1980s, the Capri had had its day and its place was being taken by the incredibly successful XR ranges of the Fiesta, the Escort and the Sierra. And in 1986, Ford killed the Capri. Purchasers turned to Vauxhall in Solace and found the Calibra, but this was no match for the lovable Capri. Ford in the early 90s launched the Probe, but even that was no real successor. What Ford needed was a sharp-suited sports coupe, bang up to the minute, late 90s style. And they got it in the Cougar. This is the two and a half litre V6 Monster. Very much the proud inheritor of the sports coupe tradition with the blue oval on the front. Like its modern successor, the Mark I Capri had pure sporting lines. It was also fun to drive, fashionable and right for its time. The Capri and the Cougar are two very different cars aimed at the same market and they show one important thing, just how far car design has come along in 30 years. Here.